Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa and today on the first day of April, it's chilly so I'm bundled up. We're going to go into the woods and see what we can forage during the springtime. So far, May apples are up and several other wonderful medicinal plants. Now, before we do that, we need to have a small talk about what's needed when you go into the woods foraging. You need protection, which I do have on me. You need really good, safe boots or hiking shoes. A walking stick is a necessity. It can be used to move snakes out of the way, stabilize you as you walk, and also you can use it for defense as well. You need a good handy backpack, one that's built good and strong, that way all your harvesting tools uh, and your essential toilet paper and, and fluids to drink is stored in there. Everything that you need or might need needs to be in there. Now, if you're away from your home a good way, you're going to want to put a first aid kit. I'm not that far, and I know how to take care of myself, so I do not have a first aid kit in mine. And also, when you're harvesting, you're going to want either baskets, and I put them like this, so that way, when I'm walking through the woods, when I haven't harvested anything, they ride comfortably right on my arm. And you can also, I also have in the backpack, Ziploc bags, and little grocery bags. I like to try to recycle. Well, it's time to get headed out into the woods. Let's see what we can find today. The first plant that we have today is known as Mayapple. We call it that in the south and also in Appalachia. It's also known as American Mandrake. Yes, the plant is poisonous, but when used wisely and correctly, it is a medicinal. Now you can harvest the roots and tincture them up, and it is only used externally. It is a cure for genital warts. And they're also beautiful. Now, the reason why they're called May apples is in May they will bloom, which actually looks like this year they're going to bloom a whole lot sooner. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right there, if I can get under the leaves. Right there is the beginning of a bloom. Now they tend to sometimes bloom later, but in May is when you will get your May apples. Now let's get ready. I'm going to get ready to harvest some of these so I can make tincture with it. So have it in a medicinal apothecary. Now you have to watch where you step and be as gentle as possible. And me being a traditionalist, what I do is I always make an offering to give the plant thanks and also to trade with it so that I may harvest from it. Now you also want to be careful and look for poison ivy which would be coming up and also poison oak and a lot of times you will find morel mushrooms growing in amongst the may apples and since I'm going for the root
as you can see, the roots can be a little bit small and they run through runners, rhizomes, and also from the apples that fall. And no, it's not apples that you can eat. And since the plant is poisonous, I will keep this separated from the other plants that I'll be harvesting today. I will be cutting the stems off and only using the roots. I personally don't need the tincture. I figured it would be a good idea to have it in stock in case somebody else does. Ah, finally, <coughs> excuse me, a good healthy long root. another really good healthy root. I'm going to harvest just a few more. And of course when you're digging you also want to make sure just like that you don't get anything else's root.
thankfully the soil is very moist and it's making it easy to harvest. And that should give me plenty of roots. Once cleaned up, to make a nice batch of tinctures. And of course, you fill your bag up and put it in your backpack so that you don't lose it. Oh, and yes, make sure you have a backpack that you don't mind getting dirty. All right, let's see what else we can go find. You never know what you might find. I just come across this beautiful little patch of wildflowers. Sorry about the glare. It's a sunny, clear day. All right, let's see what else we can find. I have found a huge, beautiful patch of wild roses growing. They go way back over there, all down through here. Which, when they bloom, I can come harvest their flowers and make a wonderful tincture and then later, I won't harvest all of them. That way, I'll have rose buds. I mean, rose hips to harvest during the fall. And I'll do a separate video on harvesting the wild roses. All right, let's see what else we can find. Uh, I have found the plant that I had come originally into the woods to harvest. These are called Toad Shade Trilliums. Do not let the name worry you. They are medicinal. It's a, they are an antiseptic, a diuretic. The roots, fresh or dried, can be simmered carefully in milk, and it will treat diarrhea and dysentery. Also, a tea made from the roots, either dry or fresh, can, if used as a cleanse, can cure gangrene as well. Now I already have a bunch of tincture made up from this plant, so I plan on harvesting it today to uh, dry it, so I'll have it on hand so to treat dysentery, diarrhea, and, and gangrene at a later date in case it's needed. This plant I do harvest responsibly and very carefully these are hard to find they are a wild natural wildflower here in the south and i have found in this forested area many many patches and i try to harvest responsibly every year and only harvest so many Okay, what we're going to be doing is harvesting the roots, and of course I give them an offering before I ever harvest. And the roots on these plants are not really deep. You just have to make sure you get all of it. And unfortunately, the reason why I harvest responsibly is only the roots, only the roots are used, and you'll snip the stem off, I see the beautiful, beautiful flower, 
and they only come up in early spring. And then once it starts really getting warm, they'll disappear. Now you can eat the plants, which I totally forget about. You can eat the plants as a, a pot herb, which would be a cooked green. So therefore, I'm not wasting the plant. Okay, there's the root. I'm gonna stick them in my basket. Oh. Honeysuckle root. That is not the root I was looking for at the moment. Well, that one will live on. I can't find the root. Means since I couldn't find that root, it will get to stay in the woods and spread on. And of course, you need to be careful where you harvest. Now, that's a big, beautiful root there. And of course, you got to be careful. I've noticed that I'm not allergic to it, but poison ivy is coming up. And you do not want to harvest anything around poison ivy. Because especially if you're making medicinal products out of the plants, and even though you're not allergic to it, somebody else can have a serious reaction to it. That's why I talk about harvesting responsibly. Because you're not going to heal somebody that way because you'll harm them. And or if you're allergic and bad enough, kill, kill them. And plus, I wanted to harvest these before the freeze tonight, because unfortunately, it'll probably hurt a lot of the plants.
Now one good thing I've noticed, these are still coming up so we've got some late starts. I knew it was in there. Unfortunately, I haven't come across any morels yet. I'm still hoping I'm staying positive. That's rarely seen a double stemmer. Okay, that's all I'm going to harvest from this one patch. I'll come across a bigger patch and harvest some more. And this way, this patch will grow back. And I can come back in two or three years. Alright, let's see what else we can find. I have found a beautiful specimen of what we call down here red or scarlet buckeye now yes it is not to be mistaken for the ohio buckeye which is a completely different tree this is a medicinal but you have to be careful with it it needs to be handled by someone who knows and has studied a poultice of the powdered seeds have been used as a treatment for cancer tumors and infections and also in a salve for sores. So definitely do not want to do it internally. It would be used externally. Caution needs to be taken when using this plant due to the poisonous saponins in it. Now, Native Americans here used to eat the buckeyes because it does form little buckeye seeds. Now you have to boil them several times, just like poke salad, and then it can be ground, well dried, and then ground into like a flour substance. But this one is definitely a healing medicinal. 
it just has to be very well respected and precautions taken before using it. I see some more beautiful ones I'm going to walk through with the camera and, uh, and video them. Of course, here's another beautiful, beautiful patch of May apples up and doing well. And of course, wild roses. And then back in the back, I don't know, the sunlight might be too bright on them. Let's zoom out just a little bit. They're just gorgeous blooming in the sunlight. And I know there's some more over here. You just have to be careful where you walk. Make sure look for snakes. I'll be coming back later this summer and collecting the, the seeds. Now this one's been flowering for a while, but they're beautiful. There's a beautiful specimen in the sunlight. There's another one. They're gorgeous. Then you have them back. And some trees are just loaded with flowers. Some not so many. There's a pretty sight. May apples. And then the Buckeye Bloom. So much beauty in the forest and it's so peaceful. There's some more. Let's see what else I can find back here. Here's another beautiful specimen. It's a wild elderberry, black elderberry. And most people know that this is an extremely medicinal plant, well known for healing colds, flus. I've been taking the extract daily. You can make extract, not extract, tincture, or you can make the elderberry syrup, which is medicinal. You can also make elderberry jelly, and of course, everybody knows elderberry wine all too well. Let's see if we can find some other things. Ah, uh, listening to the wind coming through the trees. gonna be cold tonight just wanted to share the beauty of the dancing trees from the breeze and the swaying buckeyes all right let's see what else we can go find at a later time this summer, I'm going to have to come back and check this huge fallen tree. It's being colonized by mushroom spores. So, I'm going to have to come back and see what they might end up being. Hopefully something I can harvest. There's so many blessings. I hate to see this big tree come down, but there'll be many things come forth from this tree coming down. Not only will the mushrooms and the fungus colonize it, but it'll eventually end up breaking down and become good, healthy soil. And of course, it already has the moss coming up. Let's see what else we can find. 
have come across a beautiful little patch of wild violets growing back here in the woods. Absolutely beautiful. In which I have a bunch in my yard that I need to harvest soon so I can make some jelly and tincture as well. I absolutely love being able to go in the woods and look for medicinal plants growing wild so that I can make natural medicine that will heal me and anyone else who might need it. Life is a blessing. All you have to do is be positive no matter how bad things get. Things will get better. Sometimes it just takes a little while. There is a peace and healing to be found in the deep woods where one can connect back to their roots. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this adventure along with me. Now, everything is just starting to come up, so there will be more to find. I haven't seen the first poke salad here, which is odd but I know I have it coming up in my yard. I hope this you find this informative and that you'll get out and see what you can find in your surrounding area. Now I will say there is a wonderful picture app. If you're interested, it's called Picture This. Now it does cost, but it's worth every penny. For those who are not sure of what you're looking at, that plant, that app will help you identify the plants. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I know I have. I feel so much better getting out walking in the woods. Please like and subscribe so you can come along on many other adventures. Also hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when I upload another video. Please have a blessed day. Go outside, get you some fresh air and some sunshine, and take care, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.